Dear students, Namaskar. I hope that you all must be in sound health and must be continuing your studies with great zeal and enthusiasm. Children, today we are going to discuss Chapter 12 of Science of Class 9, Sound. Before we start with the discussion of the chapter, let us recall what you already know. There are different types of energy like mechanical energy, light energy, etc. Sound is also a form of energy. One type of energy can transform into another form. Can you produce sound without utilizing your energy? What is sound? How is sound produced? Children, now we will see what we shall learn today. Production of sound, propagation of sound, sound needs a medium to travel, sound waves are longitudinal waves, characteristics of a sound wave, speed of sound in different media, reflection of sound, echo, reverberation, uses of multiple reflection of sound, range of hearing, sonar, Structure of human ear. Production and propagation of sound. We set the objects vibrating and produce sound. Vibration means a kind of rapid to and fro motion of an object. The sound of the human voice is produced due to vibrations in the vocal cords. When a bird flaps its wings, we hear sound. Musical instruments produce different kinds of sound. Some musical instruments need to be struck with a stick, whereas some instruments produce sound when the surface is released, so as to produce some kind of vibration. The matter or substance through which sound is transmitted is called a medium. Sound moves through a medium from the point of generation to the listener. When an object vibrates, it sets the particles of the medium around it vibrating. A particle of the medium in contact with the vibrating object is first displaced from its equilibrium position. It then exerts a force on the adjacent particle, as a result of which the adjacent particle gets displaced from its position of rest. After displacing the adjacent particle, the first particle comes back to its original position. This process continues in the medium till the sound reaches your ear. Suppose here the source of sound is speaker and the medium through which sound propagates is air and we have ears to receive the sound and hear it. Sound waves are characterized by the motion of particles in the medium and are called mechanical waves. Air is the most common medium through which sound travels. When a vibrating object moves forward, it pushes and compresses the air in front of it, creating a region of high pressure. This region is called a compression. When the vibrating object moves backwards, it creates a region of low pressure called rarefaction. Compression is the region of high pressure and rarefaction is the region of low pressure. Thus, propagation of sound can be visualized as propagation of density variations or pressure variations in the medium. As shown here, with the help of a tuning fork. Here, C represents the region of compression and R represents the region of rarefaction. Sound needs a medium to travel. Take an electric bell and an airtight glass bell jar. The electric bell is suspended inside the airtight bell jar. The bell jar is connected to a vacuum pump. If you press the switch, you will be able to hear the bell. Now start the vacuum pump. 
when the air in the jar is pumped out gradually the sound becomes fainter although the same current is passing through the bell after some time when less air is left inside the bell jar you will hear a very feeble sound children why did this happen vacuum pump extracted the air out of the glass jar and created a vacuum and because of the absence of air particles we are not able to hear the sound of the bell this activity indicates that medium is needed for propagation of sound sound waves are called longitudinal waves in these waves the individual particles of the medium move in a direction parallel to the direction of propagation of the disturbance the particles do not move from one place to another but they simply oscillate back and forth about their position of rest this is exactly how a sound wave propagates hence sound waves are called longitudinal waves there is another type of wave called a transverse wave in a transverse wave particles do not oscillate along the direction of wave propagation but oscillate up and down about their mean position as the wave travels these waves are produced in all the three media that is gases liquids and solids for example when we struck the strings of a sitar the waves produced are longitudinal waves characteristics of a sound wave we can describe a sound wave by its frequency amplitude and speed wave graph compressions are the regions of high pressure and are represented by the upper portion of the curve the peak represents the region of maximum compression rear fractions are the regions of low pressure and are represented by the valley that is the lower portion of the curve peak is called the crest and a valley is called the trough of a wavelength the distance between two consecutive compressions or two consecutive rear fractions is called the wavelength the wavelength is usually represented by lambda its si unit is meter the number of oscillations per unit time is the frequency of the sound wave it is usually represented by nu its si unit is hertz time period the time taken by two consecutive compressions or rear fractions to cross a fixed point is called the time period of the wave it is represented by the symbol t its si unit is second frequency and time period are related as follows nu is equal to 1 divided by t pitch how the brain interprets the frequency of an emitted sound is called its pitch the faster the vibration of the source the higher is the frequency and higher is the pitch objects of different sizes and conditions vibrate at different frequencies to produce sounds of different pitch amplitude the magnitude of the maximum disturbance in the medium on either side of the mean value is called the amplitude of the wave it is usually represented by the letter a the loudness or softness of a sound is determined basically by its amplitude the amplitude of the sound wave depends upon the force with which an object is made to vibrate a sound wave spreads out from its source as it moves away from the source its amplitude as well as its loudness decreases timber 
the quality or timber of sound is that characteristic which enables us to distinguish one sound from another having the same pitch and loudness tone note and noise a sound of single frequency is called a tone the sound which is produced due to a mixture of several frequencies is called a note and is pleasant to listen to noise is unpleasant to the ear speed of sound wave the speed of sound is defined as the distance which a point on a wave such as a compression or a rarefaction travels per unit time speed v is equal to distance divided by time so in case of sound wave v is equal to lambda divided by t where lambda is the wavelength of the wave and t is the time v is equal to lambda multiplied by nu v is equal to lambda nu that is speed of the wave is equal to wavelength multiplied by frequency speed of sound in different media the speed of sound depends on the properties of the medium through which it travels the speed of sound decreases when we go from solid to gaseous state for example the speed of sound in aluminium is 6420 meter per second the speed of sound in sea water is 1531 meter per second and the speed of sound in hydrogen gas is 1284 meter per second reflection of sound sound gets reflected at the surface of a solid or a liquid and follows the same laws of reflection as light the first law of reflection of sound is the direction in which the sound is incident and is reflected make equal angles with the normal to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence let us understand this with the help of an activity take two identical pipes arrange them on a table near a wall keep a clock near the open end of one of the pipes and try to hear the sound of the clock through the other pipe adjust the position of the pipes so that you can best hear the sound of the clock now measure the angles of incidence and reflection and see the relationship between the angles this indicates that angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection the second law of reflection of sound is that the incident wave of the sound the reflected wave and the normal all the three lie in the same plane lift the pipe on the right vertically to a small height and observe what happens you will not be able to hear the sound of the clock because the reflected sound is at another plane echo and reverberation if you shout or clap near a suitable reflecting object such as a tall building or a mountain we will hear the same sound again a little later this sound which we hear is called an echo to hear a distinct echo the time interval between the original sound and the reflected one must be at least 0.1 second if we take the speed of sound to be 344 meter per second the sound must go to the obstacle and reach back the ear of the listener on reflection after 0.1 seconds hence the total distance covered by the sound from the point of generation to the reflecting surface and back should be at least 34.4 meter thus for hearing distinct echoes 
the minimum distance of the obstacle from the source of sound must be half of this distance that is 17.2 meter. Echoes may be heard more than once due to successive or multiple reflections. If the distance of the source of sound and obstacle is less than 17.2 meter, then the sound is heard repeatedly and it is called reverberation. A sound created in a big hall will persist by repeated reflection from the walls until it is reduced to a value where it is no longer audible. The repeated reflection that results in this persistence of sound is called reverberation. In an auditorium or big hall, excessive reverberation is highly undesirable. To reduce reverberation, the roof and walls of the auditorium are generally covered with sound absorbent materials like compressed fiberboard, rough plaster or draperies. Uses of multiple reflection of sound. Stethoscope is a medical instrument used for listening to sounds produced within the body. In stethoscopes, the sound of the patient's heartbeat reaches the doctor's ears by multiple reflection of sound. Megaphones or loud hailers have a tube followed by a conical opening. Reflect sound successively to guide most of the sound waves from the source in the forward direction towards the audience. Generally, the ceilings of concert halls, conference halls and cinema halls are curved so that sound after reflection reaches all corners of the hall. Range of hearing The audible range of sound for human beings extends from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Sounds of frequencies below 20 Hz are called infrasonic sound or infrasound. Frequencies higher than 20,000 Hz are called ultrasonic sound or ultrasound. Applications of ultrasound Ultrasounds are high frequency waves. Ultrasound are able to travel along well defined paths even in the presence of obstacles. Ultrasounds are used extensively in industries and for medical purposes. Ultrasonography is used for examination of the fetus during pregnancy to detect congenial defects and growth abnormalities. Ultrasounds can be used to detect cracks and flaws in metal blocks. Ultrasonic waves are allowed to pass through the metal block and detectors are used to detect the transmitted waves. If there is even a small defect, the ultrasound gets reflected back, indicating the presence of the flaw or defect. Ultrasonic waves are made to reflect from various parts of the heart and form the image of the heart. This technique is called echocardiography. Ultrasound may be employed to break small stones formed in the kidneys into fine grains. Sonar The acronym SONAR stands for Sound Navigation and Ranging. Sonar is a device that uses ultrasonic waves to measure the distance, direction and speed of underwater objects. How does the sonar work? Sonar consists of a transmitter and a detector and is installed in a boat or a ship. The transmitter produces and transmits ultrasonic waves. These waves travel through water and after striking the object on the seabed gets reflected back and are sensed by the detector. The detector converts the ultrasonic waves into electrical signals which are appropriately interpreted. The distance of the object that reflected the sound wave can be calculated by knowing the speed of sound in water and the time interval between transmission and reception of the ultrasound. Let the time interval 
between transmission and reception of ultrasound signal Bt and the speed of sound through seawater is V. The total distance 2D travelled by the ultrasound is then 2D is equal to V multiplied by T. The sonar technique is used to determine the depth of the sea and to locate underwater hills, valleys, submarine, icebergs, sunken ships, etc. Structure of human ear How do we hear? We are able to hear with the help of an extremely sensitive device called the ear. It allows us to convert pressure variations in the air with audible frequencies into electric signals that travel to the brain via the auditory nerve. The auditory aspect of human ear is discussed below. Human ear has three parts, outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. The outer ear is called pinna. It collects the sound from the surroundings. The collected sound passes through the auditory canal. At the end of the auditory canal, there is a thin membrane called the eardrum or tympanic membrane. When a compression of the medium reaches the eardrum, the pressure on the outside of the membrane increases and forces the eardrum inward. Similarly, the eardrum moves outward when a rear faction reaches it. In this way, the eardrum vibrates. The vibrations are amplified several times by three bones, the hammer, anvil and stirrup in the middle ear. The middle ear transmits the amplified pressure variations received from the sound wave to the inner ear. In the inner ear, the pressure variations are turned into electrical signals by the cochlea. These electrical signals are sent to the brain via the auditory nerve and the brain interprets them as sound. Recapitulation Sound is produced due to vibration of different objects. Sound travels as a longitudinal wave through a material medium. Sound travels as successive compressions and rarefactions in the medium. Sound cannot travel in vacuum. The law of reflection of sound states that the directions in which the sound is incident and reflected make equal angles with the normal to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence and the three lie in the same plane. For hearing a distinct sound, the time interval between the original sound and the reflected one must be at least 0.1 second. The persistence of sound in an auditorium is the result of repeated reflections of sound and is called reverberation. Reflection of sound is used to design megaphone, horn, stethoscope and curved ceilings of concert halls. The audible range of hearing for average human beings is in the frequency range of 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Sound waves with frequencies below 20 Hz are termed infrasonic and those above 20,000 Hz are termed ultrasonic. The sonar technique is used to determine the depth of the sea and to locate underwater hills, valleys, submarines, icebergs, sunken ships, etc. We are able to hear because of an extremely sensitive device called ear. Children, now I am going to ask you a few questions and I hope that you all might be knowing the answers. My first question is, differentiate between compression and rarefaction. When a sound wave travels, the region of high pressure is called the compression and the region of low pressure is called rarefaction. In other words, 
the compression is the region where higher density variation exists whereas rear fraction is the region where lower density exists my next question why we are not able to hear echoes everywhere we are not able to hear echoes everywhere because to hear a, an echo the minimum distance between the obstacle and the source of sound must be 17.2 meter my next question name any three instruments which work on the principle of reflection of sound so the three instruments which work on the principle of reflection of sound are megaphone horn and stethoscope what is the difference between note and noise the sound which is produced due to a mixture of several frequencies is called a note and it is pleasant to listen to whereas a noise is also produced because of mixture of several frequencies but it is unpleasant to the ear my next question give the relation between speed wavelength and frequency of a wave and the answer is speed or velocity of wave is equal to wavelength multiplied by frequency of the wave now i will ask you a few fill in the blanks and the first fill in the blank is louder sound can travel a large distance as it has higher dash and the right answer is amplitude my next fill in the blank sound waves which have lower frequency than the audible range are called dash so such sound waves are called infrasound next question the three bones present in the middle ear are dash dash and dash so what are the three bones hammer anvil and stirrup my next question define crest and trough compressions are the regions of high pressure and these regions of high pressure are represented by a peak this peak in the wave is called a crest whereas rear fractions are the regions of low pressure and they are represented by a valley and this valley of the wave is called a trough my next question Why do women produce shrill sound whereas men produce less shrill sound? The sound produced by women has higher frequency as a result of which it has higher pitch and the sound appears shrill whereas men produce a sound of lower frequency. That is why the sound of men appears less shrill as compared to women my next question what is the range of hearing for human ear the range of hearing for human ear is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz my next question differentiate between transverse and longitudinal waves in longitudinal waves the individual particles of the medium move in a direction parallel to the direction of propagation of the disturbance whereas in transverse wave particles do not oscillate along the direction of wave propagation but oscillate up and down about their mean position children with this we complete our chapter and i hope that all of you must have listened to the chapter carefully and understood it well children Stay safe, stay healthy, keep learning and keep growing. Thank you.